Right. The intelligence agencies claim that it had been on the trail of the insurgents before the U.S. and the British High Commission issued security. So how would you assess the capability of the Nigerian intelligence agencies to handle this threat? Yeah, I want to believe that our people are capable within the limits of the resources available to them, capable of uh, dealing with this situation. Remember the attack on a war. They have made arrests, and uh, the people arrested were working for ISWAP, and they are from Kogi State. ISWAP appears to be very, very interested in setting up its cells, active cells, in the local Jai area, from where it can then launch attacks in the federal character, I mean, federal capital territory and, and, and Abuja, the seat of power itself. So if they could do their investigations, that they got their investigations right, and they arrested the masterminds of the attack in the war, if they could get their investigations right, and they arrested Kabiru Sokoto, who carried out the uh, Christmas Day bombing uh, some years back, I'm very confident that our people can deal uh, with the situation, but we must stress that they need to also work with our foreign partners. They need to work with the Americans. When it comes to intelligence globally, the Americans are number one in the world. So there's a lot that we can gain by collaborating with the Americans. This is what uh, I, I want to see. I don't want to see arguments between Nigeria and America because America should be our partner in defeating terror. I remember when our president just newly uh, took office. The president of um, um, when the president of the U.S. Uh, Donald Trump just took office, he invited our president over and told him, "I'm going to help you to defeat terror," and he proceeded to uh, sanction the selling of Tucano. Um, bombers to Nigeria. This kind of deal was not permitted by Obama during his time, citing the so-called Lehi law. He refused to sell weapons to Nigeria, but the uh, administration of Donald, um, Donald Trump decided to sell weapons to Nigeria, and the Tucanos are doing a fantastic job in the Northeast and literally in the North Central. So, I believe that we need to work together instead of um, um, throwing angry tantrums at one another. We need to work together. We need to work with the Americans. We need to work with the Britons because two heads are better than one. And I want to believe that they, are, uh, some, they have some information that we don't have. So it's a win-win situation for us when we work with them and um, they, we share intelligence uh, with them instead of simply attacking one another, uh, it, it, the sort of thing that will make the terrorists happy where, where they are. Yeah, uh, Bikio, so some of the issues raised, especially by the Minister of Information, Alajilai Mohammed, is that why is it easy for the US and the UK to be able to give security alerts of other countries and are not quick to detect their, you know, theirs, talking against the backdrop, backdrop of attacks? by some of their citizens? The question to ask the minister is, is America the same as Nigeria in terms of size? America is the size of West Africa, the entire West Africa. So if you have a few uh, um, gun attacks on, um, on schools in the U.S., as big as the U.S. is. You have dozens of attacks on schools here and there. When you look at the size of America, you must admit that they've done a good job of protecting the homeland. Since, uh, since 2011, no terrorist attack by Al-Qaeda has happened in America since 2011, and America has proceeded to even kill 
Al Qaeda leaders, as uh, uh, as well as um, ISIS leaders, they've killed the last two leaders of ISIS. They've killed um, Osama bin Laden, and they've also killed um, uh, his uh, his former deputy, yeah. uh, the man from Egypt. So no one should question the competence of the Americans when it comes to. Um, coming up with actionable intelligence and uh, dealing decisively with terror. They've done a terrific job. If a country can be as large as West Africa, the whole of West Africa, you know, even some of the countries around us, like Chad, like Niger, they are far bigger than Nigeria. Now we are talking about a country bigger than the whole of West Africa, still able to, to protect its citizens and limit attacks on his people to uh, to school uh, uh, attacks on schools and all that stopping terrorist activities from being brought to uh, america since 2011 that's that's uh, more than 20 years ago since that attack no, no other one no other attack has, uh, has happened how many such attacks have happened in nigeria since then how many terrorist attacks have we seen in Nigeria since 2011? I mean, there's no need to compare ourselves to these people because we are not even in the same class. We don't need to respond uh, with uh, angry words. We just need to do our best to work with our open. If there is no, um, if they didn't see anything, they will not complain. And don't forget, this um, this this warning was sent to their own people. They were not directly. Uh, um, uh, talking about Nigeria, it is we. They were not uh, talking to Nigerians per se. They were talking to their own people. In that Abuja, we've seen terrorists attack the UN building and kill people. So, the way we respond to intelligence, the rapid response that we carry out, we ensure that the international community respects us. The way we keep our communities safe, the way we keep our uh, capital safe, will cause them to respect us. We can't force them to respect us. And it is clear that they do not trust us. Because if you, even Nigerians, seen what happened at Kujé prisons, where these guys came, ransacked the prison, freed their people, walked back into, their, into the, the forest without a single arrest being made, without being resisted. Why would they respect us? These are the issues. We don't need to engage the Americans in baseless argument about uh, why are they unable to stop uh, uh, um, uh, killing, uh, killings in schools. How many times do such killings happen? How many times, even in Bono State alone, do you know how many times Boko Haram terrorists attack communities and kill our people? And that's a small area for God's sake. So we ought to deal with terrorism a lot better. We are not in competition with America. We have not even reached that level of competing with America or flexing muscles with America. There's no, there's no basis for that. Let's keep our communities safe. Let's ensure that these terrorist activities don't happen. 